What's up, guys? What's up? Did you enjoy your root beer float? Sam? I enjoyed my root beer float. I enjoyed my root beer float. I had too much root beer float. It was good to see the people that came. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, all of y'all that came, so good to see you. It was very nice. If you're watching this video and you didn't come, we missed you. Mm -hmm. we, did. we did. We did miss you. But we challenge you, go make yourself a root beer float. All it. you need is root beer mm -hmm. and ice cream. Oh, yeah. And, well, you need a cup. I mean, I guess. I think you need a cup. Well, I mean, you I guess you, you could just scoop the ice cream. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Just use what you got, yeah. you know? Okay, so there's a reason that we had a root beer float night. Mm -hmm. It it was to see you guys. It oh, yeah. was to, you know, be a community, but it was also to show what community is supposed to be. You see, we've been talking about creation and how creative God is how indescribable he is, and that that Sam is made in the image of God, just like I am made in the image of God, just like you are made in the image of God, which means that we're all made to be image bearers of God. So let's let's use root beer float as an example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so a root beer is meant to be consumed, right? Yes. And ice cream is meant to be consumed. Mm -hmm. That man, it just like it tastes real sweet. Both of them do. Oh, yeah. Like root beer by itself, really good. Really good. Like Sam. I mean, Sam by himself, pretty good dude. I mean, pretty fun. But when you add ice cream to the root beer, mm -hmm. it like goes from here to like way up here. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like you take two good things, you put them together, then you have something that's really 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 good so like this video mm -hmm. I mean it would be it would be good with just Sam but you add me to it I mean we feed off each other yeah you know or you know I probably should have done that the other way around this video would be it'd be like with me in it <laughs> add Sam to it it's really good what do you have to say about that yeah. I mean well, you got anything well yeah it's like that it's like a mix and I've actually got a verse that helps us kind of see that it's in Ecclesiastes, so if we open our Bible, um, you can you can almost open it right in the middle, and you'll probably be in Psalms, and go over one book of Proverbs, and one more you'll find yourself in Ecclesiastes. So, if you all want to join me, it's Ecclesiastes chapter 4, and we're going to start in verse 9, and it says, two people are better than one. So, two are better like than me one. and Andrew, yep. we're better together. And they can help each other in everything they do. Suppose either of them falls down then one can help the other one up. And then we're going to jump to verse 12. This one's really cool. It says, One person could be overpowered, but two people can stand up for themselves, and a rope made out of three cords isn't easily broken. So that's a really cool couple of verses there. It's talking about how, like we said, when we're together, we're better. Like, imagine... Better, we're stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're smarter. We smarter. got two brains instead yeah. of one. So, like, you can even try that around. It said three strands is not easily broken. You can try that with string or a stick. The more you add together, the harder it is to break. And that's what community is about, right? That's right. So when we're alone, we're trying to do life by ourselves. We're, to be honest, we're not going to make it very far. I mean, we we it, we're gonna we're gonna get pummeled by just fear. Um, we may be afraid of things. We may There may be th things that we come across that we're not going to know how to do, but a friend might. And so we, we need each other. I mean, especially when it comes to our walk with Jesus. I mean, Jesus, like Jesus, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, came down from heaven, and he didn't do it by himself. Mm -hmm. Like, he had people with him. He was pouring into them all the time, and it, he, he gathered people together to, to send out into the world to spread the gospel, spread the good news, to tell people about who he was. Now, could he have done it by himself? Absolutely, he could have. But Jesus, the most powerful person ever, chose to have a community. Mm -hmm. I think that's a pretty good reason for us to do it. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. And what better way to show that than with a root beer float? I mean, come on! Like that's you a ta that, right? that's a tasty way to do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got I mean, you got anything else? No, that's about it. All right, so until next time, we'll 
mean, see you when we see you. See you when you see you. Bye. See ya.